Candida albicans is a species of yeast commonly found in the human gut. Everyone naturally has some candida, but it becomes problematic when conditions in the gut promote candida growth and allow it to take over your body, starting with the gut and often expanding to the skin, vagina, ears, and mouth. Probiotics, kombucha, antibiotics creams and essential oils are among the treatments I've seen for candida overgrowth, but as with any physical condition, if you want to permanently eradicate it, then you need to eliminate the emotional root cause. Whenever something goes wrong in our body, there is always a deeper reason for hiding in our body and waiting to be found. To be more precise, it is actually hiding in our mind, heart, and soul. Our body's ailments are indicators of what is happening with us emotionally, mentally, and psychologically. We only need to learn to pay attention and listen. The underlying pattern of candida overgrowth, the psycho-spiritual root cause, is unworthiness. Candida albicans is a parasite, which as a biological term means it feeds off its host without providing any benefit to the host in return. The underlying pattern of any experience you have with parasites is, I'm not worthy to receive in balance with what I give. This applies to biological parasites as well as people who behave like parasites, and even an organization or your own business, if it takes more from you than it gives. If you experience candida or any other parasite in your body, then I can guarantee that you're also experiencing them elsewhere in your life, business, romance, friendships, etc., because these patterns are never isolated. How we do one thing is how we do everything. I would even bet that you experience those other problems first, because the physical body is always where patterns manifest after they've gone unaddressed in the mental and emotional levels of your life. Your business is a parasite if you're not making a profit through it, that is, if it's taking more money, time, and energy from you than it's returning to you. Your relationship is parasitic if you constantly give, attention, time, love, etc., and make concessions to what your partner wants, but your own needs aren't being met. Your relationship as a child with one of your parents could be described as parasitic if you didn't feel you were getting as much love from them as you gave. Children are generally unconditional and unlimited in the love they give, because they haven't developed the blocks to love that adults have. How do you know if yeast infections are emotional? You'll know if you've tried medication, diet, supplements, and treatments and they still don't go away. You can also tell if yeast infections come out of nowhere and flare up due to emotional stress and emotional triggers. Don't give up just yet, there is more to your symptoms and the deeper healing path will lead you to a more fulfilling life. Most chronic symptoms have an emotional cause. When you focus on emotional healing, you will heal the root cause. Another probable cause is denying your own needs. Not supporting yourself. You can develop a new thought pattern by saying, I now choose to support myself in loving, joyous ways on a daily basis. Your body may be telling you they are a serveholic or a codependent who is denying its own needs and who is not supporting itself. Your body feels that it doesn't deserve love, that it has to earn it, and it therefore lacks self-love. Your body feels that it has to serve itself up on a platter to get the God-housekeeping seal of approval that never comes. Your body could also be experiencing self-rejection. They feel that there is something bad, wrong and evil about them. They are therefore incapable of accepting or providing support for themselves, and they are unable to own or manifest their personal power. Your body is a product of a denigrating family who undermined their competence and confidence. Yeast infection emotional causes and the emotional root cause could be related to child trauma and childhood pain. Yeast infections are masking your repressed emotions such as sadness, fear, guilt, emotional abandonment, shame and anger. Now it is time to validate and stand up for your feelings by fully feeling them to release them. You are holding the key to unlocking your full potential. You have to understand the mind-emotional-body connection gives you freedom and clarity in all aspects of your life. Healing candida, urinary tract infections, BV, and yeast infections is a journey of self-awareness and empowerment, feeling and releasing repressed emotions, setting healthy boundaries, and doing what you love without holding back or selling yourself short. 
Empowerment is also about learning to trust yourself and trust you will find the next truly effective step in your process. A great first step to empowerment is to stop complaining and blaming. The root of your symptoms isn't about what you are eating, they are there because of what you aren't feeling, including your true self. Your symptoms are there to show you that it's time to truly take care of your emotional needs. They will stick around and flare up if you look outside of yourself for the answer and comfort. Look within and heal yourself. Practice self-love and healing affirmations. Always do shadow work in order to address past traumas and feelings of unworthiness. Thank you.